Okay, first of all, I'm really sorry for the bad lighting. It is really nasty outside. It's raining and just... There's no natural light, so I'm using a lamp. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Megan and I will be your vlogger for every second and fourth Monday and this video is a little late, this is going to be combining two videos into one. So I will start off with um, the introduction. I am 23 years old and I live in New Jersey like a couple of you guys. Uh, about an hour from New York. I didn't really get to start going to actual Broadway shows until I was 18, but I've been going to touring productions since I was six years old. The first show that I ever saw was The King and I, and that was the first musical that I got into. My uncle would play the VHS all of the time. Speaking of my uncle, he's watching TV, so if you hear a TV, in the background, that's him. Um, sorry about that. Um, he would play the VHS all of the time for me, so we would watch it together all the time, and then he took me to see The King and I, and it was great, and I've been hooked ever since. The first show that I saw on Broadway was American Idiot, you know, the Green Day musical. My favorite show of all time is Les Miserables. I love Les Mis so much. I saw it a bunch of times on Broadway with this revival. I loved that cast. I love the show. I just love everything about it. I think it has one of the most beautiful scores. And I just, every time I listen to that score, I just get a huge smile on my face and I think about all of my memories that I had at the show and at stage door and I'm really sad that it's closed now but yeah that's my all-time favorite show and I have a feeling I'm gonna have another favorite tomorrow I am going to see The Lightning Thief off-Broadway and Chris McCarroll is playing Percy Jackson who you may know him as Marius in Les Mis, or before he played Marius, he played Jolie and Understudied Marius. And he is my favorite actor on Broadway. And I just, I think he's fantastic. I think he's got a great voice. And the reason why I admire him so much and think that he's so fantastic is because how many people on Broadway have a voice like Chris McCarroll's. Like who else on Broadway has a voice like his? I'll wait. Yeah. So um, he's just got, he's got this great personality. He's super funny and if you follow him on Twitter you understand. He's just really goofy and out there, and I just love that about him. So I'm really, really excited to see him tomorrow as Percy Jackson, because The Lightning Thief is based off of the book. And I've heard it's super, like, accurate to the book, and I'm so excited. And my role in theater, I'm a fan. I'm just a fan. I do love acting. Unfortunately, my high school and my middle school did not have a drama department. I was involved in everything else creative that they had. Uh, there was, you know, band chorus. I was band president. I did all shore band. Uh, I was in chorus. I think I was chorus treasurer one year too. So I didn't get to really do any acting until I got into college. I took a musical theater course just for fun, um, just because, you know, it's something that I wanted to do as a hobby. I would love to participate in, you know, some community theater as a hobby. I think that would be really cool. I go see shows all of the time. I now live 
an hour from New York City, so I'm pretty close to the city and I'm able to go quite often. And like I said, I didn't get to start seeing shows until I was older, on, uh, shows on Broadway. So now that I'm older and I've lived close to the city over the past year and a half, two years, I've been seeing a ton of shows on Broadway. I like everything that I can. So I think that's all there really is to know about me. So I will link all of my social media and all that fun stuff down in the description below. Bye!